When an Astra Militarum patrol force encounters difficult terrain far too treacherous for a heavy battle tank, they are accompanied by a Sentinel, an all-terrain, highly mobile combat walker. The Sentinel is a versatile and rugged combat walker widely used across various regiments of the Astra Militarum. Its lightweight and nimble frame can be operated by a single guardsman, and its relatively small size makes it ideal for traversing through rough ground unhindered. The simple but proven design of the Sentinel strikes a good balance between mobility and robustness. One of the reasons why it has been the vehicle of choice for many combat patrol commanders of the Astra Militarum. Sentinels make use of sophisticated gyro stabilizer devices that provide them with poise and balance, ensuring the walkers remain steady while moving over unstable terrain. This, coupled with an articulated leg design, has allowed sentinels to venture deep into lush jungles or crumbling city ruins that would pose as an impassable blockade to regular vehicles. They can be armed with a wide variety of heavy weapons tailored for their combat role, bringing a combination of firepower, armour and manoeuvrability together to form an effective war machine. Sentinels can operate individually, but are more often fielded in scout or fire support squadrons. The Emperor's Talons Recon Company is a renowned and battle-hardened sentinel formation usually tasked with hunting down and eliminating a specific enemy target. The company consists of three squads of sentinels led by a veteran formation leader. These skilled pilots stalk their prey relentlessly, carefully navigating the battlefield and emerging from the shadows to strike down their target with brutal efficiency. One of the earliest incarnations of Imperial Sentinels featured a fully open canopy and was armed with an assault cannon. This design was not long replaced by the patterns commonly seen today as the pilots had little to no protection from incoming fire and although powerful, the assault cannons couldn't be produced on a large enough scale to meet demands. Generally, the Astra Militarum fits its Sentinels with weapons that are most tactically advantageous for a given campaign but some regiments have adopted their own standard pattern of sentinel. The most common sentinel originates from the forge world on Mars and is known as the Mars Pattern Sentinel. The forges of the Red Planet are able to mass produce the volumes required to meet the demands of all the regiments across the Imperium. The Mars Pattern Sentinel is equipped with a multi-laser and partially armoured canopy, a combination which suits a variety of combat roles. The Sentinel chassis can also carry heavy weapons such as autocannons, las cannons, plasma cannons, heavy flamers and missile launchers, depending on the type of fire support required for its particular role. Heavy flamers are very useful for close range engagements, whereas the autocannons and plasma cannons are a good choice for eliminating heavy infantry. Las cannons are tank hunting weapons with enough firepower to punch through the hull of a heavily armoured tank. The missile launcher is a versatile option that can make use of both frag and crack missiles for effectiveness in both anti-personnel and anti-armour roles. When facing large vehicle formations, commanders sometimes request their sentinel squads to be fitted with hunter-killer missile launchers in addition to their main weapon. The hunter-killer uses an auspex array to assist with targeting as it can only be fired once due to the lack of an auto-reloader system. Despite its limited use, the powerful missile vastly increases the first strike anti-armour firepower of the Sentinel. The versatility of the Sentinel's design allows it to be fielded in multiple configurations and patterns, with each presenting a different combination of main weapon, protection level and operational role on the battlefield. The main two variants used across most regiments of the Astra Militarum include the Scout and Armoured Sentinels. Scout Sentinels are effective at performing reconnaissance operations and providing light infantry fire support. They have a lighter, partially armoured canopy to reduce load weight and grant increased visibility to the operators, allowing them to easily locate and eliminate pockets of enemy resistance in swift ambush attacks. Their tracking ability is also enhanced by auspex scanners and sensors adapted to such a task. 
their power generator incorporates additional noise reduction to ensure their approach remains unnoticed. Scout Sentinels are usually equipped with either a multi-laser or heavy flamer as their main armament. While the multi-laser can lay down rapid fire bursts of heavy laser fire at range, the heavy flamer can spew streams of superheated Prometheum to incinerate clusters of enemy troops at close range. As they are likely to encounter difficult terrain, the Scout Sentinel's gyro stabilizer is tuned to assist mobility as they traverse through battlefield craters, dense undergrowth or city ruins. The reverse joint leg design is ideal for both stalking their prey quietly and providing an impressive burst of speed when in open ground. Scout Sentinels can operate alone for extended periods and often venture far away from their main battle group. For this reason it's common for their crew to modify and adapt their vehicle even further and all sorts of unique innovations are seen across various regiments. For example, the Ice Warriors from the Valhallen Regiment are known to fit servo-driven claw spikes to the feet of their Scout Sentinels to provide better grip when on treacherous ice planes. The Warriors from the Catachan Death Worlds rig their Scout Sentinels with large chainswords to carve a path through the dense jungles and often outfit the top canopy with camouflage netting to help the vehicle blend into its surroundings and the Desert Warriors of the Talarn sometimes modify the feet plates to increase footprint surface area, which helps to improve balance in war zones with vast sand dunes that it's often deployed in. Although Scout Sentinels are highly useful at their role, they are not intended for frontline assaults. The open cockpit design lacks protection from direct engagements, making it vulnerable to light weaponry. In such cases, the Armoured Sentinel variant is fielded instead. Compared to the Scout Sentinel, the Armoured Sentinel has a fully enclosed canopy with additional armour plating. Although it can't match the durability of a Lehman Rust battle tank, it's still able to withstand firepower that would decimate entire squads of infantry, making it an excellent battlefront unit. The reverse joint legs are modified with recoil compensators in place of additional gyro stabilizers to allow for the weight of additional armor plating and heavier weapon systems at the cost of slightly reduced mobility. The scanning systems and sensor arrays of the Scout variant are replaced with additional power cells and cooling systems allowing the armored Sentinel to excel as a mobile heavy weapons platform. Armoured Sentinels can be employed as roaming tank hunter units that seek and destroy enemy vehicles with effective, high-powered weaponry capable of cutting through the toughest armour plating. The Armageddon Pattern Sentinel is a common example of this. It's armed with a LAS cannon, one of the most effective anti-tank weapons at the Astra Militarum's disposal, and has a fully enclosed canopy. Both the Scout and Armoured Sentinels are common sights on the battlefields across the galaxy. However, there are rarer variations that exist within the armory of the Imperium. Some of these, such as the Sentinel Powerlifter, perform a non-combat support role. It makes use of two large power claws to latch onto and move heavy objects, or to load artillery vehicles with missiles and other heavy ordnance ammunition. In extreme circumstances, the power claws can be used as an immensely effective close combat weapon against assaulting enemy infantry. Another less common variation is mainly used by the Elysian Drop Troops and is known as the Elysian Pattern Drop Sentinel. Modified to be transported by a Valkyrie gunship and fitted with grav chutes, the Drop Sentinel can be released into battle at low altitude to land smoothly alongside their supporting troops. The engines and canopy of the Drop Sentinel have been heavily converted and downsized in order to fit inside the hull of a Valkyrie. This has led to a compromise in its defensive capabilities, making the Drop Sentinel potentially more vulnerable to light firepower compared to the Armoured Sentinel, but the ability to precision drop and surprise enemy formations more than makes up for this. The Drop Sentinel also carries a different assortment of weaponry compared to the more common configurations as the Elysian Light Infantry Regiments rarely field heavy Lehman Rust battle tanks. As a substitute for the firepower provided by such tanks, the Drop Sentinel is armed with either a multi-melter or heavy bolter. 
The multi-melter is a powerful weapon at short range and can be extremely effective against even the most heavily armoured vehicles. The heavy bolter is excellent for dealing with tightly packed infantry formations and providing general fire support. Whether operating deep within enemy territory or guarding imperial supply lines and providing fire support, the Sentinel plays a vital role in the forces of the Astra Militarum. <laughs>